Okay, so wherever you have a patient of long bone fracture like fracture femur or fracture tibia fibula and if the patient suddenly develops respiratory distress or the patient becomes agitated or there is a drop in the saturation, always think of fat embolism because what happens is fat cubules can uh, leave the bone marrow and then travel into the blood and can uh, cause ARDS, fat embolism induce ARDS and encephalopathy sort of picture so that's why it is very very important to stabilize the long bone fractures either by splints or cast uh, and uh, surgery as soon as possible how can you diagnose it it's a diagnosis of exclusion you need to rule out other causes but if the patient becomes agitated means neuroscience or the patient be developing your idea drop in saturations like this or you can have rashes in the sclera petical rashes axilla or palate and in flat globules in the urine so do read more about it, fat embolism in long bone fracture.